Okay, so lab number five for the modeling and analysis manufacturing systems course. Today we are not going to be adding any new blocks um, in terms of learning logic. I think that's a good idea in terms of your preparation for the exam. So we are not going to be adding any new blocks. We're going to reuse the ones that you already know. Uh, but I want to focus on the use of attributes and variables. So the idea today is to show you a different way or maybe a new type of variable that you can use to collect information from your system. In particular, we're going to be looking at the money. The is the variable for money, so collect revenue from the system. In, in the sense, if you have a store and you want to know what is the average revenue that you're gathering, uh, after a day, for example, and how much is customer spending on average, that type of information we can collect from the system using attributes and, and variables. And that's going to be the, the focus for today's lab. Um, so again, uh, we're going to be focusing on using the variable information representing some system characteristics, and in particular, we're going to focus on on the cost and the revenue. So focusing on that uh, variable. And actually we're gonna use a combination of attributes and variables. An attribute is going to be assigned to the customer at the beginning of the simulation and that attribute is gonna uh, is gonna come up with from a distribution, obviously, but it's gonna assign the amount of money that each customer is going to spend at the, at the store. And then after the customer goes through the store, at the end, we're going to have a tally that is going to collect the total amount of money that is every customer is spending. And so, um, remember to set up your working environment. Um, and in terms of, of the preparation for, for the exam, there is a couple of students who, who were asking me about which modules I'm going to be at. Uh, asking you to use for for the exam and the question the, the answer to the question is you can use either one you can, you can use the one that you feel more comfortable you should get the same answer at the end but for the second exam i'm basically going to be doing all the models using this module so for the second exam you should be more familiar with this uh set of blocks but again, for the first exam, if you still feel more comfortable with the first group of blocks and elements, that's fine. Um, so, I think we don't have to spend time unless you have any questions on how to use these blocks. So, is the, the idea of how to represent a, a resource using the C's uh, delay release, and you can um, use a process block or a combination of those three blocks in the new modules. Um, the only thing that you have to do is to specify the type of action that you want to do. Uh, so in that sense, it's going to be doing the same thing as uh, we, we did for the first group of blocks. Uh, the only difference is that now you don't have to define the elements or the experimental frame that is defined for you as you start building your model. So, in the use of attributes, so we're going to use some attributes today, as I mentioned already. And we're going to collect some statistics. In this case, it's going to be the total revenue of, of the store. So for that, we're going to use a tally, because um, we are going to be saving each observation from each customer. And we're going to put that into a bag, and then we're going to look at the average. So that is a tally statistic. And I think we can go straight to the, the exercise discussion. So here's uh, the example that I, I want to discuss today. So here we are looking at uh, Texas State football fans are going to buy tickets. There are currently two books open with a line for each. Students ignore the length of the line and join a line according to a 50-50 chance. Uh, students that arrive in the first booth must wait three minutes to get their ticket, uh, where students arrive at the second booth must wait four minutes. The average amount of uh, spent by fans is $80 with a standard deviation of 50. 
uh, assuming that the booths are open eight hours and that the students arrive approximately every two minutes, I want to compute the average dollar spent per, per customers and the average daily revenue. Okay, so we're going to use our software to build this example. So you can log into your computer right here. And then today, you see that we are not going to be representing this book as resources because there's no communication in terms of the service guy. They're just giving you an average of the waiting time for getting their, their ticket. So in that sense, the model is kind of different from because we don't have enough information about the, the actual system. So instead of using resources today, we're going to just represent the delay using the delay block by itself. Okay, so that will make the, the problem simpler, simpler to, to represent. And obviously, the problem is telling you that you're going to have arrivals happening every two minutes, so we're going to need to create a block for that. Um, let me save this. Okay, so, um, so every two minutes, we have an arrival. It says approximately every two minutes. So in that sense, it's not a constant. Every two minutes is an average. So in that sense, we can always use the, the exponential distribution to provide the, the randomness. In the, for, for the purpose of the exam, I'm going to always tell you what distribution is you're you going to use. So I don't want you to spend time trying to figure out what you need to use to represent the, the system. That's not the idea. What I want you to focus on is on building the, the right model. So every two minutes, we're going to, on average, we're going to get a, a, an arrival to our system. And from here, I'm going to assign an attribute to each one of those entities. So I'm going to use an assign block to assign an attribute. And then the attribute name is money. Okay, so I'm going to tell the model this is how much each customer is going to spend. And for this lab, that is a random distribution. This says uh, an average, the average amount spent by fans is 80 with a standard deviation of 15. So for that, I'm going to use a normal distribution. So I'm going to build an expression, random distribution, normal, with a mean of 80, and a standard deviation of 15. Do you guys remember what is the shape of the normal distribution? How the normal distribution looks like? It's like a bell. Okay. So, so when you get the, 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 this type of information in terms of mean and, and standard deviation, most of the time we end up using this bell shape, which is actually representing um, the, that bell shape uh, distribution. Okay, so. 
So we did, we designed that out to you. And in terms of the, the statistics that we want to collect today, we're just focusing on that. We are not interested in doing the cycle time on the example or the width or anything like that. We're going to focus on just collecting that um, average. And the other part of the formula of the of the example is that you have split the customers into two lines. Um, so we're going to do a desired block. And since we don't have a condition for splitting the, the customers, we're just going to split them based on a probability distribution. We are going to use a two-way by chance condition. 50% will go through one branch and the other will go through the second branch. Okay, so in terms of editing this block, we don't have to do anything. Uh, the parameters that are provided are the ones that we need. And from here, we are, we know that there's two lines and the waiting time for the first booth is three minutes and the sec for the second booth is four minutes. So we can implement that waiting using a delay block. And I apologize, I don't have the modules here. I need to find them. Okay, so I'm going to use this delay block. And I'm going to use two delay blocks, one for each row or each booth. So half of them will go through the first branch, the other half will go through the second branch. And the first delay is three minutes and the second one is four minutes. So this first delay block, the delay time is three minutes. And for the second one, it's just four minutes. Any questions? So from here, we can just uh, move to collecting the data. So for the first statistic, it's going to be the money spent per customer. Okay, so the average dollar spent per customer. So for that, what we want to do is we want to use the value in which we can start recording so for customer one, they spend this amount of money and we're going to put that into the bag. They're going to spend this amount of money that goes to the bag. So we can have, let's say, a hundred observations with the money spent for each one of the customers. And at the end, we want to take the average, the ADP, and that's going to give us the average of the money spent, and that's going to be our first statistic. Now, the second statistic is going to be, instead of the average of all of them, we want to sum those numbers, and that's going to give me the total revenue of the system on that day. Okay, so 
Those are the two statistics that we want to compare. The average one is better, and the current total value is for the, the system. Okay, so for the first part, we can use a record block, and we can connect both. This study is going to be given by an expression. And again, what I want to connect is these observations. I'm going to be putting all these observations into this plan. And those observations are given by the name that I gave to that uh, attribute. So that is dollar. Spent? Ah, money spent, sorry. And you give a name to that tally. This is going to be dollar spent customer. Okay, any questions? Okay. Okay, so now I want to connect the storage. And as I mentioned, what you want to do for that is you want to have the post of those uh, attributes. So instead of using a tally block now, what I'm going to use is a value. Okay, so I'm going to use an assign block here. And that assign block I'm going to add a variable in the variable name is going to be revenue. And how I'm going to compute this revenue? Well, the revenue is going to be equal to revenue plus money spent. Okay, so this variable is going to take just going to start at zero. And every time the customer goes through this variable or this assigned log, you're going to add the money spent by that customer. So you're going to increase this until the end of the simulation. And at the end, this variable is going to contain the actual revenue of your, of your store for that thing. And this is going to be, remember for some of you who was recommending that you might want to do like cost analysis for providing your recommendations. So if you know on average how much each customer is going to be spending, and you can recommend to add a new resource, you can tell them, oh, if it's going to cost you this, this is how much revenue you're losing. This is the way to, to represent that. Um, or this is how much you can make if you add that person. So, Kind of give them a justification in terms of benefit cost. So, okay, okay. And then after that, we can dispose that entity. And let's try this. We can check if our model has any errors. So far, just let me know if you have any, if you're encountering any, any errors. Okay. 
because we need to do one more thing here. The thing is, <clears throat> in this variable, <clears throat> this variable is not going to allow you to report the output. So we need to create a value for this variable so we can record that output at the end of the data period. Okay, so, but for this particular statistic, we only have one observation every day. And that observation is going to happen at the end of the day, right? So after eight hours, I want to know how much I'm going to receive from, from, the, from the score. Okay, so in order for us to be able to get that information, we need to build a separate logic within this model. And you will see how this works in a second. So I'm going to have a, a create block, a separate create block, which is going to have also a record block, and also a dispose block. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to generate an entity every day, and that entity is going to tell the model the store needs to be closed now. Tell me what is the revenue at this point. Okay, so, so for that we need to create an entity. And in this case, it has to be a constant value. I want this entity generated um, at a specific time of the day. Okay, so it's going to be constant. And we can also tell it's going to be just one entity. So after eight hours, you are going to generate this entity in the system. But well, this entity is not representing any physical entity. It's just a routine that we are using to collect the data. So after eight hours, I want to record an expression that is going to be the revenue. And I want to put that into a tally that is going to be called daily revenue. So what I'm doing now is after eight hours, I'm calling that variable. I want to know what's your value. And I'm putting that into a separate bag. So this is the revenue after eight hours. I'm putting that single observation into that bag. So if you look at the average of this, it will be the same on this observation. So, but that's the only observation that we can get because it's, it's the, the revenue at the end of the day. Okay, so we can check the model one more time. No errors or warnings, so that's good. So the last thing that we need to, well, we need to do two more things. First, we need to uh, define the statistics. So for that, we need to go to a plans process. And to the statistic module. And in here, I'm going to have two tally statistics that I want to know the output. So the first one is the daily revenue. So I'm going to start with the dollar spent of the gathers, dollar spent by the customer. So this is D A B G. Uh, dollars. 
friend, customer. So it's the average of these values. And I'm going to do the average of these values. So this is AVG average dollar spent. So the second statistic is going to be an output, also a TABG, and this is daily revenue. And the report label is the AVG. daily revenue. Any questions? So now you can check your model. See, I'm not sure if I use the right name, so it looks like everything is fine. So the last thing now is just to set up the replications. So you want to run this for eight hours. The number of days is not specified, so we can run it for ten days. Um, so let me run this setup. Ten replications. Eight hours. Base time unit minutes. And then the reports. Actually, the product parameters. I want to uncheck this because I just want to see those statistics related to the cost and the revenue. And finally, the report is going to be the assignment summary report that we always use. And then we can click OK and try to run it. You know, if we, add, we talk about the, the animation that is happening and how to eliminate the animation if you want to run this faster. Um, so we can just stop this and go to run, batch run, no animation, and then run it again. Hmm. So the daily revenue is not working. So let me find out what's going on. There you go. Okay, so there, there's a problem with the with the way we generated the, that first entity. So now, instead of using an H here, what I've been in the model is generate the first entity after the L. Okay? 
So that will make sure that we are generating that at the time that we need it. And that should change your, your values for the daily revenue right there. Okay, so the first creation is happening after eight hours at the end of the day. I want to get that information at the end of the day. So if we are only generating one entity, it doesn't really matter what we put here because the first entity is going to be generated after eight hours. Okay, so if I put eight here, I should be able to get the same result. Yes. So on average, they store is doing very well, doing twenty, almost twenty thousand, nineteen thousand dollars a day. Um, and that's why um, you're having customers spending almost a hundred dollars um, per customer, so that's the reason why. Um, so the, the results kind of make sense. Um, how many automations you're seeing? That's the one that. So, for example, for the last day. You're seeing 240 customers. That is this automation. So, yeah, make sense. Any questions? Hey, so that should help you work with the uh, with the exercise that is posted already on the track side. Um, if you want to get started with that right now, it's fine. Um, going to be here for the next 10 minutes if you have specific questions. And if not, then I'll see you on Tuesday or during my office hours this afternoon.